Do you hear that? That sounds like a professional violinist, but it's not. He is just a kid. Hi, I'm Ryder, and I play the violin. He studied with the best in the world. He played for the best in the world. And has won many prestigious competitions with performances like this. All by the age of 14. But Ryder's achievements almost never happened. When Ryder was little, he showed interest in music. So his parents signed him up for violin lessons. After a few months, the teacher said, Ryder is not making progress because he doesn't seem to be able to follow the instructions in the lessons and has not been completing his assignments. Turns out he has an auditory processing disorder, which makes it tough for him to follow verbal instructions. So his teacher suggested he try an easier instrument, like the guitar. But again, he made no progress. How did that make you feel? Not very good. All they did was tell me where to put my fingers and give me so many exercises, I couldn't even keep up with it. And like many instruments around the world, it ended up in the closet. A year later, there was a song playing on the radio, and he took out the violin and started playing. He played along with the music, note for note. His parents couldn't believe it. But for me, it was just natural to play with the music. Then it was off to the races. And that's because the same thing that makes it hard for him to listen to words, makes it easy for him to listen to music. And he has all the perfect ingredients. He has what's called perfect pitch, which means he can hear musical notes like you and I hear words. C natural. D. He also has a photographic memory for music. He can hear a complicated piece of music that he's never played and play it all from memory. And he's been able to play music as he's hearing it for the first time. He finds the notes in real time, which requires incredible speed and accuracy. These skills make Ryder one of the best in the country for his age. But don't take my word for it. Take a professional violinist. Why couldn't he learn in a conventional fashion? He is more right brain oriented, which usually is the touch of the genius. You are like more intuition, the inspiration just comes through you. Many of the greats struggled. Einstein failed an entrance exam to school, Walt Disney was told he lacked imagination, and Ryder was told he was a bad musician. But that didn't stop him. The thing is, people's brains are wired differently and we all learn in different ways. That's not a bad thing. It's not whether or not you can learn. It's finding the right way to learn for you.